water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. So if any of this, please show me important love messages for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio this day. Show me more. Wow. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This this reading is definitely for both of you separated from your person, okay? If you are in a happier relationship with your person right now, this is definitely not your reading. We've got the Queen of Cups and Love First, Ten of Swords, and also we've got the Ace of Cups and Love First. So it feels like there is an ending here or um and an energy where somebody could be feeling betrayed or hurt, um, devastated with this ending because it feels like with the Ace of Cups and Lovers and the Queen of Cups and Love first, either an offer of love is being rejected or somebody somebody has stopped investing emotionally in this connection. And this is also a very overwhelming energy. It feels like the Queen is crying right now. Uh, doesn't matter King or Queen is not gender specific overwhelmed with sadness that's what i'm getting here plus we've got the five of cups here so an energy of somebody feeling really really sad right now if you're separated from your person but you're happy then it must be your person whom is going through these emotions right now but if you're feeling sad right now um uh, pisces cancer scorpio especially if you are the female the feminine energy here i'm definitely sensing how with the four pentacles here, you'll be afraid to let somebody back into your life, back into your heart. Still mulling over the past, the negatives rather than the positives. But Spirit's trying to say that two more cups behind you. So even if this connection has ended, um, there are better options for you, okay? There's better options for you out there. Because the Empress here is in love first. It feels like you are not being appreciated, being loved, being cared for. This person did not see your value, your worth. And we've got the King of Pentacles, sorry, King of Swords here in love first. Could be dealing with somebody who lies. If it's not lying, could be somebody very verbally abusive or not good with communication, aggressive with your words, or it could be physically as well. It could be any of these things. So I don't like the King of Swords in love first, right? So this could be somebody who is also. I do read the King of Swords and Love First as somebody who is like a Nazi, <laughs> who is like a Nazi, not Nazi character, right? With it being in reverse, can be any of these things. Maybe they could have lied to the Swords in reverse. Can be an indication of somebody not telling the truth, not being honest as well. So we've got the Magician in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you could be thinking maybe three of cups and over it's not a good idea to reconcile because you've already seen this person's true colors with the magician here in love first. Again, the five of cups is in the heart of your spread here. It feels like, again, a lot of disappointments, but four pentacles also can be an indication of somebody still holding on to this connection, right? But if you are still holding on to this connection, Spirit's definitely telling you not to, okay? Reconciling with this person would be a bad idea, and because you already see have you have already seen this person's true colors, who they are as a person. Again, it could be a liar, they or that they could be verbally abusive, or it could be any any of those things. Yeah, but let's see more. And they could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, can be any sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody like you are. Yeah, it's, it's definitely saying to protect yourself with a seven or one from this person. You could have been married to this person or uh, were in a serious relationship or could have talked about the future together. And three of pentacles sometimes also can be an indication of a third party. So for some of you, you know, third party may not always mean another lover, another another lover, but it could also indicate uh, friend, family, external factors, internal factors that could be meddling. Uh, this situation, meddling into this situation. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in love first. That's the stuck energy. There's uh, This is very specific. It's just for some of you. Somebody could be feeling stuck because of responsibilities.
because maybe both of you have children together. That's just for some of you, or maybe because of family pressure with the Ten of Pentacles. Family responsibilities or family pressure or, you know, sharing children together. That's just for some of you. But then the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, it feels like Spirit also is trying to tell you to, you know, be just continue being who you are. If you have set if you have a set boundaries or you have a certain expectations on a partnership, romantic partnership, Spirit saying to hang on to it because you know, you'll be rewarded with the Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody whom is going to see your worth and your value and will be giving you what you want here. Which to me feels like a commitment, you know, a long-term connection, building a life together, building a legacy together. And the chariot here, some upgrades and the judgment here. For me, maybe an indication of someone maybe wanting to hash things out as well. Could be wanting to talk about reconciliation. Or sometimes the judgment may also indicate, you know, things that are being revealed, ugly things, ugly information, bad information, or, inf or, or information that has been hidden for a while, and now it's coming to surface, right? So let's see more Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with somebody super confused, Ten of Cups here, or somebody who doesn't really know what they want, Two of Pentacles, one day they are this way, and tomorrow they are like a different person, like their feelings, they need to sort their own feelings out, again, rules can be rough first, but there's definitely somebody here, I feel like they don't even know what they want, they don't even know how they feel, and it's like up and down, up and down, but this could also be an indication of <clears throat> somebody juggling couple of people okay at the same time um, may not always mean that but I just feel this energy of a very tumultuous connection or somebody where you have to walk on eggshells with okay or the, you have to walk on eggshells egg whenever you're with this person that's just for some of you you'll be dealing with a fire sign here Aries Sagittarius Leo but I feel like uh, on the other hand there's this energy of somebody wanting to make peace um, but don't know how some of the cups and weighing the pros and cons, whether they should or shouldn't. Let's see more. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you may not want to make the same mistake again. Maybe I feel like you have stopped nurturing this connection, stopped investing in this connection. You may have your guards up with the nine of wands here. And you may see this person as childish or immature or can't give you what you want. And you're just waiting for the towel moment to happen. If both of you are not separated, some of you could be, you know, foreseeing that maybe it's not going to work out. Maybe, you know, something is going to be revealed here. Unless for a lot of you, I feel like it has already been revealed, right? Because the Five of Cups is sitting in your uh, present position. All right, what are signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave you with... My latest video from my second channel is a travel vlog channel and I just posted this video two days ago. I'm in London right now and in this video I went on a cruise. It's called the City Cruise on River Thames. It was really, really beautiful. Um, check it out. I had so much fun. Uh, check it out if you want to, okay? And also I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still valid because they're still new and fresh. As you guys know, I post their videos almost every single day. So check it out. There could be some other information that you could find there that could be useful and important to you. And um, I am open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. All right, take care. Bye.